In this video, I'm going to go through and show you my media management workflow. In other words, where I store all my video footage, how I organize it, and my process for creating and archiving my Final Cut Pro project. Hey guys, what's up? This is Serge and welcome back to my channel. The media management method I'm going to show in this video is how I currently deal with all my project media. Now, this is always evolving, and I'm always looking for better and more efficient way to deal with my media. So, if you have any suggestions on what I could be doing different, I want to hear from you in the comments below. If you want to follow this method, what you'll need is two external hard drives. The ones I use and recommend are the 2TB Lacey Rugged Thunderbolt drives. These aren't solid state drives, but since they're only used for storing media and projects, I can get away with using cheaper drives. All the products mentioned in this video will be linked in the description below. You will also need an internal solid state drive with sufficient space for your project or an external SSD. My recommendation here is a Samsung T5 solid state drive. They're not cheap, but since this is the drive you'll be working on, the higher speed of the drive will be necessary. For all my demo videos and non-tutorial projects, the first thing I do is move my media off my memory card onto my first external drive, which I call my media drive. I simply drag and drop my media from the memory card onto the drive. To organize it, I create folders and name them by the date the footage was shot, with very short description at the end. I also tag my individual clips with a camera it was shot on. For my tutorial videos, I create a folder and name it whatever the tutorial is about. Inside this folder, I create three separate folders named Audio, Video and Other. The Audio and Video folders are self-explanatory, and everything else, such as the video thumbnail, YouTube description and so on, goes in the other folder. Next, in Final Cut Pro, depending on the size, I either have my library on my internal drive or my external SSD. This is my current library and only contains the projects I currently work on. What I find is when the libraries get too big, they tend to slow Final Cut Pro down, so I try to keep my current library size to a minimum. What I like to do is have a separate event for each one of my videos, with the video projects inside them. First, I select the media I need for my project from the media drive and import it into Final Cut Pro, making sure to select the Copy to Library checkbox in the Import window. This way, after my import is complete, I can unplug my media drive and put it away. The current library is where I edit all my projects, and once finished, I always export a master file using the ProRes 422 codec. I export my videos onto my media drive into a separate finished projects folder. This master file can later be transcoded or compressed for sharing on social media. And finally, after my project is complete, I archive it onto my second external drive, which I call FCPX Project Archives. On this drive, I have a library called Project Archives. There's two options when archiving your projects. Option 1 is moving the entire event to the archive library, which moves all the media inside this event to your external drive. Option 2 is moving just the project. What this does is move only your project and only the media used in your project to your external drive. Any media not used in your project does not get moved. Moving only the project as opposed to the entire event can save a significant amount of hard drive space. To move my project, I'll select the project in the browser and from the menu bar select File, Move Project to Library, and select my Archive Library. Next, I make sure both my Optimize and Proxy Media checkbox are not selected and hit OK. This moves my project and any media used inside my project to my external drive. If I wanted to move my entire event, I would just have to select the event instead of my project and click File, Move Event to Library. Now, after my project or event is moved, I can close my Project Archives library and start over again on my next project. There's a few benefits to this method. One is redundancy. My media is stored in two places, on my media drive, and since I copy all my media to library, the same media is also stored on my Project Archives drive. And two, by keeping my current library on my internal drive and keeping the size to a minimum, I maximize the speed of Final Cut Pro. And if I need to edit my project while traveling, I don't have to worry about the external drives. So this is my current method of media management in Final Cut Pro. But like I mentioned before, it's always evolving. 
so I would love to hear some feedback from you on how I can improve it. Let me know how you manage your media library in the comments below. And as always, if you found this video helpful, hit the like button and make sure to share with someone else who might like it. And don't forget to subscribe, new videos released weekly. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.